you're gonna come up onto this video right now and comment something snarky like This video is just an excuse for Emma to eat food like what the fuck bro? You'd actually be correct so feel free to comment that if you want What's up guys? It's Emma. Today I'm back with a video. I'm so freaking pumped because I'm about to eat some food But it might not be so great because here's the thing I had this idea that I would go to the grocery store and buy all of the foods that I used to eat when I was younger Like anywhere from like 5 to like 12 during that age group time of my life. I ate so bad so bad like I was I'm actually surprised I don't have like diseases because I ate so bad extremely unhealthy I never ate vegetables or anything. I ate so bad um, Which is fine because when you're like seven like you have the fastest metabolism of all time and it just like doesn't matter Um, yeah, well those days are over but it was fun while it lasted anyways I haven't eaten these foods in like 10 years This video is going to be taking a lot of effort from my side over here because some of this stuff I actually have to cook in the microwave Unbelievable. It's a lot of work. Okay, first we'll start out with a few snacks. This first snack was my favorite snack You might have never even had these before because they're really random It's called Sabritonis Sabritinos Sabritones Sabritino I actually used to call them Sabritinos when I was little Sabritinos, but it's spelled s-a-b-r-i-t-o-n-e-s -E which like if you sound that out Sabritinos yeah, let's try it out. I'm so excited. These were so good I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed my memory of these was like them being my favorite food I remember these being the one thing I'd look forward to at recess every day and they're not living up to that expectation right now They're honestly like not that good. Like they don't have that much flavor. They're not bad. They're just boring I'd rather have a Dorito. You know what I mean? I'm not mad because the memories that those gave me <laughs> were absolutely Irreplaceable during recess. I remember my friends would ask me for one and I would decline every day It was that one snack that you would just not share kind of an emotional start, but what can you do? Next snack, I actually had to cook and pour water in it and then put it in the microwave and then pour a cheese packet in it. It was not all fun and games. It was hard. I'm just kidding. But my next snack is this Annie's white cheddar mac and cheese. I used to eat this for dinner like five times a week. Um, Ever since this mac and cheese came into my life, I have been a strong believer that white cheddar mac and cheese is superior. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But this was my sh I'm gonna take a huge bite. No, I'm not. What if I hate it? Mm, I don't think you can hate mac and cheese. Oh, f this it's exactly what I remembered. This makes up for the fact that that was not that good. Okay, I need to stop because I have like a bunch of other foods to eat, but... Okay, so this is when things kind of start getting a little bit interesting because, see, I grew up as a vegetarian, meaning I never ate meat, so I haven't tried most of the meats that you probably eat on a daily basis, such as, like, steak, chicken, hamburger, like, it just never landed in my mouth. So I kind of had to grow up, like, you know, eating things that were, like, an imitation that would, like, make up for my lack of meat. One of the things that my parents would feed me as a young as a youngin to help me feel like I really fit in was these Morningstar Farms original sausage sausage patties, okay? I've never tried real sausage, so I don't know how accurate this is, but I have one right here. Um, as you can see, it looks like a nice hockey puck dog shit hybrid. It doesn't look the best, okay? So I've seen more attractive things than this. Maybe it'll taste really good. I don't really remember exactly what these taste like because I literally haven't had them for years. I don't know what it's even made out of because it's not meat, but what else could it be? Beats me. Let's try it. I give the texture a four out of ten. The spices in it, not too shabby, but the texture is not the best. It's super dry. I feel like I need like ten bottles of water to get that fully down my throat, but it's not bad. It definitely gives me some elementary school morning time feels. I think that if I didn't eat these as a kid, I wouldn't be able to eat it because it's kind of weird, but because I have so much experience with these bad boys, it's kind of just more like memories. We'll move on from the hockey pucks for now. Okay, next let's get into something that literally makes me feel something. We have Pop-Tarts, right? Okay, these are the s'mores flavor, which is an important factor, but let me just explain. So when I was little, I used to play Toontown. That was my sh it was actually worrisome to my family how good I was at it and it was my main passion in life I had dreams about it But you know during the week I would get home from school and I'd only be able to play for like an hour or so because I'd have homework The weekdays I was kind of torn apart from my love which was Toontown But then on the weekends that's when I really went ham I just remember you know Sundays me sitting playing Toontown just defeating those cogs like a savage and eating s'mores pop-tarts So I have very high expectations right now if I don't literally taste Toontown 
I'm gonna be disappointed as fuck. I miss Toontown more than literally anything in my life, but they shut it down. And now there's like weird, like illegal fake versions of it, but like it's just not the same. Whatever, if you never played Toontown, this is gonna be over your head, but oh my God. If Toontown had a flavor, it would be these Pop-Tarts. This should be illegal. I'm like emotional because I literally, I must put it away. They're so good, number one. Start, you know what? Not only are they just so fucking good, but they taste like Toontown. I feel empty inside the fact that I can taste Toontown, but I'm not playing it and it's really Really upsetting so we need to move on before I start I don't know crying you my last hot food item <coughs> yaki soba you know most of you basic for all I used to have cup of noodles and do you know what I had my fair share too but this this was my jam I used to get the flavor teriyaki chicken which doesn't actually have chicken in it, it has chicken flavoring so it's technically vegetarian which I think is fucking weird but whatever basically I remember one time I was at my friend's house my best friend at the time in elementary school and her mom cooked some of this up for dinner and I had a little nibble of it and I became addicted I went home and I told my mom I'm like mom you need to buy this for me right now went to the store bought some of this I don't know something about the flavor it's probably the MSG in it that made me addicted to it you know I don't know it doesn't look gross but something about like this black plastic just really turns me off but I know it's gonna taste good already because there's no way I was that obsessed with it as a child I am struck again with disappointment don't get me wrong it's good but the flavors are just bland it's just kind of boring I'm not excited by it I'm not feeling things like it doesn't make me feel something which is what I look for in these nostalgic foods the noodles kind of feel like I don't know spaghetti squash but like in the worst way possible they're kind of soggy and like all one texture but at the same time i can't stop eating it and i'm pretty sure that's the msg at work so let's stop while we're ahead i'm going to throw this away because it is quite addicting there's something very addicting about it i must stop let's do one of my favorite snacks that i used to eat you know during recess as well and i originally wasn't gonna like feature this in a video but i realized this lemon zest luna bar has made me the woman that i am today if you're unaware luna bars are for women only meaning that if you're a man and you eat this you have a 50 percent chance of growing titties i don't know if that's true on the back very small in very small letters it says whole nutrition bar for women which is weird. This bar really helped me grow into a woman. Obviously it didn't do that well of a job considering people still mistake me for a 12 year old boy, but Luna bars are like so bad for you. The nutritional value in this is about equivalent to a Snickers bar, but oh, I feel myself becoming a woman right now. Amazing. I mean, it tastes fucking good, but it's just not good for you. Next lunch snack. I used to eat these yan yans. Double cream, strawberry, and chocolate cream. Oh, wild. Okay, basically how it worked is you have a stick and then you have two little icing things and you just dip it and then eat it. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this icing. <gasps> it's so soft. Wait, this is actually really fucking good. The icing is like so light and fluffy. I am by no means mad at this, but I am a little bit mad because here is the dirty secret. Yan Yan, you're hiding something from us all. And here's what it is. Okay, beware for all your dreams to be crushed because I know mine were when I found this out. As you can see, you have, you know, this nice section here for the sticks. And then of course you have your icing right here, right? Now, because this is such a long container, you would assume that the icing would go all the way down, right? No, it doesn't. The icing only goes to about here and you can kind of see through this thing as a child finding this out was absolutely heartbreaking it was kind of a sneak peek to what was gonna happen later when I found out about the tooth fairy but I think this was almost worse I've literally eaten two of these and I'm like already out of icing that's just fucking really mean I'm not gonna blame Yan Yan and it isn't their fault no do you know what Fuck it it is their fault this is turning into my like literal like junk trot pot this is turning into my junk pile and it's kind of gross but I'm also really sweating right now because I tried to wear a sweater to be spirited because it is fall now. If you didn't already know, I'm sweating because it's really hot in California and like I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sue me. I'm starting to feel a little bit sick, not gonna lie. Next snack, Lunchables. Now see, as you know, I grew up as a vegetarian, meaning that the original ham, cheese, and like little Ritz cracker knockoff sort of thing, the OG Lunchable wasn't something that I could eat. And I also didn't like the pizza one because for some reason, cold pizza, like upset me. So my Lunchable of choice was the chips and salsa one. But another funny thing about me was that I really didn't like nacho cheese until I was a little bit older than I started liking it. But at the time that I was eating Lunchables, um, I for sure did not like it. I would get this, right? And I would just eat the chips with the salsa and I'd ignore the cheese. The funny part about that is there's actually more cheese than there is salsa 
which is rude. Holy shit, this is good salsa. Yeah, that's like fucking good salsa. These nuts. I can't just do all this and not try some of the nacho. You know what I mean? Like, ew, I don't like it. I already hate it. Okay, do you know what? That's just like not bad at all. I don't know why I was afraid of it as a child. I was like afraid of it. Like I wouldn't eat it because it scared me, but it just tastes like nacho cheese. I don't know what my issue was. Ew, okay, wait. The aftertaste is really um, disturbing. So we're gonna cut ourselves off here. <sighs> I feel so nauseous right now. Like all this fucking shitty ass food is making me feel like I'm dying. Like I feel like I'm dying. I think the nacho cheese kind of pushed me over the edge, but for a nice little palate cleanser, let's have my middle school. So this is actually a little bit older. My favorite middle school candy. This is where my love for coffee bloomed. Coffee Rios, okay. I had this friend in middle school who I sat near in English, I'm pretty sure. She always had dope snacks. And she would like share them like she was pretty open about it, you know one day she comes to English class I think with some of these I plop one of these in my mouth and my life was changed forever These are like coffee flavored candies or whatever. This is the caramel one to be exact Oh my god, oh fuck, bro these have like such a rich good coffee flavor ha! The day after this girl let me have one of these in class I went to a candy store near where I live and bought like 500 of these and ate them in two days. Ow. Mm. That was bad for my teeth. We're down to our last two snacks. This also includes nacho cheese, which like surprises me because I, I know that I used to eat these, but why was I afraid of the nacho cheese and the Lunchable and not of this? I don't know. I was going to buy the crackers that come with this gross cheese and like the little red stick. I'll insert a photo so you know what I'm talking about. I was gonna buy that, but it was like $5 for a pack. And this one was only $2 for a pack of them. And you know what? We're on a budget here. So, okay, these breadsticks look like, I don't know, but like not good. This was a snack that I would eat in like fourth grade so I was a little bit older but still it's not it's not something I respect you know I had like this time in my life when I was just really into snacks and like this was just one of those like I also ate those like 100 calorie packs anyways let's see how it is oh shit that actually is kind of good okay this cheese is much better than that cheese I must say would I eat it again no there are so many things I'd rather eat but you know what not that bad my last food um, I decided to save this one for last because the way that I eat it do you know what hold on let's just let's backtrack okay do you know what hold on a second Okay, sorry. So last night we're gonna be talking about is Ritz. Now you might be like, Emma, like everyone eats Ritz still. Like that's not weird. The way that I used to eat Ritz was not only disturbing, but also should be illegal and probably is in some countries. If you're wondering, Emma, wow, you're a fucking cheap ass bitch. Why did you buy the weird off brand? Because, okay, I was trying to save $3 at the Lucky's this afternoon. Please try not to get nightmares from this. I know that you're probably gonna think of me differently after seeing that that's the way that I would consume Ritz crackers on a daily basis, but there is something kind of fun about it. Anyways, well, leaving you with that, I need to go to the gym, drink like 20 smoothies and green juices, and um, drink a shit ton of coffee or something just to cleanse my body because this makes me feel ill. Anyway, I don't really know what you got out of this. I don't even know really what I got out of this except for a headache, but hey, I hope you had fun with me today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below anything you want. I love you all appreciate you all and I can't wait to see you next time